and Gilcrest Grizzlies, and welcome to Grizzly AM, your morning news show. I am Lily Grace. And I'm Cadence. Today is Thursday, September 21st, 2017. Please stand for the morning pledge. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the news. Last night was our share night at Sunny's. A good a good time was had by all. Take a look. Yesterday, the guessing jar winners were announced. Announced the students who got the closest in each grade level won a free book from the book fair. Congratulations to our winners! Kindergarten, we had a tie: Leon, Larone, and Bailey. First grade, Callie. Second grade, Harrison. Third grade, another tie: Ryder and Jay Z. Jose. Fourth grade, David, and in fifth grade, Matt. Good guessing, Grizzlies. Our Boosterthon fun run is coming. Here is some more information about this fun event. We have another. Oh God. We have another grizzly who has run, read five Sunshine State books. Congratulations to Chimley. She has picked her prize and has her picture on the wall of fame. Great reading. Now it is time for our PBS winners with Mr. McCann. Good morning, Grizzlies. Today we will celebrate our fourth grade winners who are caught being respectful, responsible, safe, and being a team player. So without further ado, let's congratulate our winners. Abby and Ms. Brown's class, Bella and Ms. Otero's class, Evan and Ms. Daly's class, Sarah and Ms. Botini's class, Jaslyn and Mr. Miller's class, Hunter and Ms. Adams class, Trenton and Ms. Maddox's class, and Trinity and Ms. Williams's class. Have a great Grizzly day. Now it's time for the AR Corner with Mrs. Crow. Ooh, here I am. Let me get all mic'd up here so you can hear me. I have some exciting news for you today. Every time I'm here, it's exciting news. We have some people who have, second graders, who have read lots of AR books. We're going to start with Colton Clark from his Baranos class, 25 points with a comprehension average of 92.4. Oh. Got a big book in your hand, Colton. I'm not surprised. There you go. Well, it's two. I was two books. This one. Okay. Well, you know what? You can actually give that to um, you know where you feed the books in the media yeah, center. Yeah, I know. All right. There's your. There you go. All right, Colton. All right. And then we have from Miss Bowers' class with over 25 points and a comprehension average of 97.1. Ella Gray Nunnally. Your sisters are here to watch you out there, aren't they, Ella Gray? That's exciting. From Ms. Bowers' class with over 50 points, earning her keychain this morning with a comprehension average of 94.7, Nora Somerset. 
Great job, Nora. All right. And then from Miss Barino's class with over 50 points and a comprehension of 80.8, James Mogg. Great job. Another big book in your hand. These kids love to read. I love it. Have a great day, Grizzlies. Love y'all. Sure, that weather station we have a current temperature of 73 degrees and a projected high of 88 degrees there is an 80 percent chance of rain a rain it is now time for the pr principal's corner with mr souls good morning grizzlies and a happy thursday morning to everybody today i am just so proud of those readers that is one of the things that really gets a big smile on mr souls's face uh, and that and gr being great Grizzlies with great manners. I love seeing that as well. Always so proud and I got to see lots of Grizzlies out last night at Sonny's Barbecue. We had a lot of we had a lot of fun. I got to go around each table and say hello and people were eating all kinds of fun things. They actually had ice cream and hot fudge at uh, Sonny's. I didn't know that they had that so I just thought they had pudding and all those good things on the bar. So it was a great place and lots of smiles and lots of friends. I saw lots of books as a matter of fact out there at Sunny's, people were reading their books. I know they were taking good care of them, making sure they weren't getting uh, any coleslaw on it or anything like that, but they had a good time and lots of smiles and lots of friendly faces. I know I saw Miss Chetta out there. I saw uh, Assistant Principal Knight out there. Lots of people visiting and lots of friends from kindergarten all the way to fifth grade. So, great night last night. Uh, teachers, don't forget there's a faculty meeting this afternoon in our media center. Looking forward to seeing you this afternoon. I know we'll keep uh, things moving because a lot of you have middle school open house this, this evening. So looking forward to that as well. Everyone have a great Grizzly Day. Thank you, Mr. Souls. Our thought for today is your dream doesn't have an expiration date. Take a deep breath and try again. If you wish, please stay tuned for the Student Council speeches for treasure. Please join us tomorrow for another edition of Grizzly M. Have a great day. Goodbye. telling you about what a treasurer actually does. A treasurer is a per Hello, my fellow students. My name is Abu Balagon, and I'll be telling you about what a treasurer actually does. A treasurer is a person who finds Hello, my fellow students. My name is Abu Balagon, and I'll be telling you about what a treasurer actually does. A treasurer is a person who financially handles the money of a group or organization. The reason why I want to run for treasurer is because, um, well, money has to do with math, and I like doing math, and I think I'm pretty good at it. So that's why I think you should vote me for treasurer. This move, this message was approved by Abu. Get ready to vote for red. Hello, my name is Rita Scalier and I am running for treasurer. I am a good candidate because I'm all about the money, money, money. But honestly, I am great at math and I love problem solving. I am also very motivated. I am currently a first degree level three black belt and once I set a goal, I am determined to achieve it. Just remember to use your head and vote for red. My name is Brandon House. And being treasurer is a great responsibility. I think that I will make a great treasurer because I am very good with numbers. I am also good at keeping records. I will be a good leader because I will help out around my school. I will work hard to support and improve my school and will listen to suggestions from other classmates. Thank you for your time and I look forward to seeing you around school. Hi, my name is Hayne Miller and I have been running for I am running for treasurer. I've, I'm great for the job because I follow all four Gilchrist rules. The last two years, as class representative, I've never missed a meeting and I've always been on time. I know how to manage money mostly because I started my own business and learned not to spend more than I make. So let the green bucks roll in. And by the way, don't chicken out. Just vote for Hain. 
Dear fellow students and teachers, my name is Slava Svetkov and I'm from Ms. Sims class. I am running for treasurer of the student council. I chose this position because I love working with numbers and I'm really good at math. As a treasurer, I will try and use the budget in a wise manner. And I can promise you that you can count on my accurate records. The only thing I'm asking you for is your vote. So vote Slava for treasurer, the great mathematician and measurer.